All right, we good? We good. All right, so it's day 46. Y'all just see me drop a video, flashing my check. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. So, boom. Next video, we gonna have the monies. We gonna have all the monies in there. You hear uh, Hundreds, best believe. Day 46 of semen retention. Boss mode. What is it called? What is the Super Saiyan when, when the hair turns blue? What is that called? Ultra Instinct? Ultra Instinct mode. Yeah, or as I like to call it, caveman mode. Feel like a caveman, my beard is growing out. I don't leave my cave. I probably go outside in the backyard like I'm a freaking dog or something just to walk myself, like just to get some fresh air. Besides that, I'm in here reading a book, calling sellers, calling buyers on the Discord, something like that. All right. Day 46 of no fat semen retention. Uh, I'll tell you what, my brain is definitely being rewired. I'll tell you that much, for sure. My brain, I mean, ever since I came out here, my brain has been rewired. It's been like a hundred days so far that I've like been out here, uh, like a few days. So it's been like a hundred seven it's been like 104 days 103 104 days and my brain i'm a different person i tell you what bro before i was living with my mom right and if you know my story you know that when i was 24 years old i just got out of jail all right I was on drugs. I was on all the drugs. Smoking jokes, smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol every day, partying every day, smashing anything that walked. I had vices left and right, chained. The devil had me chained down. All right. And uh, so, yeah, it took me three years for me to like, you know, of self-improvement to like even get to the mindset to where I was able to move out, all right? And now that I moved out, it's been a hundred days since I moved out. Like that three years of me like uh, doing self-improvement, which was a lot of, a lot of heavy work. I feel like I've doubled it in this last hundred days. Big facts. I don't drink alcohol. I don't go out. Semen retention? I thought I thought semen retention was impossible. I genuinely thought that. I thought semen retention was like not a, like it was not possible. Like the people who do it are just like superhuman or something. They just not real people. I don't know. Not fapping. I just didn't. It just seemed impossible. But then again, I also thought that quitting cigarettes was impossible. But it's not. You just have to work. And never give up. And so my brain is completely rewired. Fapping is not an option. Like that's just not, it's just not an option in my brain anymore. And I don't feel like YouTube was a big part of that. I mean, my YouTube channel was a big part of that, like being held accountable, you know, cause the amount of, bro, so many of y'all reach out to me. Like even before I started doing semen retention, like y'all would reach out to me and y'all would say some like very heartwarming things. And like, we would talk on the phone. I would talk to all of y'all and y'all would inspire me. And I was like, damn, people really watching me. Like, yeah, like I can't, I can't mess up. So I knew like by me putting something on YouTube, it was over with, it was real deal. And so I feel like out of the hardest part out of this whole 46 days of semen retention have been 
day 31 through 40, 40-ish. Those were the hardest days. After, thir after day 30, that's when I was really tempted to be like, okay, it's over. 30 days, we did it. No, not November. Okay, you could calm down now. We could go back to reality. We could start fapping. We could start choking our, you feel me? Choking a chicken. But I was like, no. No, I'm not doing it. And it was hard. It was very hard. It was, that was the hardest. It was hard. I had to do so many push-ups, bro. I was doing my push-ups at the lust, at the temptation. Andrew, uh, Andrew Tate said something like that. He was talking about like uh, when he was in jail, he was doing the push-ups at the guards or whatever. Or that's just the mentality he had to like motivate him to do push-ups. I was doing my push-ups at my lust. And I felt like when I was doing those push-ups, I was angry, bro. I was like really angry, like at my lust, like at my temptation. And I was like, no, like I felt like I was doing it at demons. So push-ups really helped. Push-ups have helped me a lot since I've been out here. Um, there's never been a day when I didn't do my push-ups. There have been days when I... There's never been a day when I didn't do my push-ups, straight up. There's been a day, there's been days when I did more than I was supposed to do in push-ups, but there's never been a day where I didn't do 100 push-ups, minimum. And so day 46 of monk mode, caveman mode, my brain is rewired. I'm on a new level. I went through a flat line and I feel like, I feel like I'm getting out of it. I definitely feel like I'm getting out of it. I have new goals now. I have a new why. I have a new, I just have my eyes set on something else. Now my eyes are set on getting the frick out of this house. I'm, I'm just going to say that almost in every video from now on because I'm putting it out there. I'm letting y'all know I'm getting out of this house. That's going to happen. I think I'm going to move to Katy. Katy, Texas or Dallas, Texas. Somewhere nice. I'm going to get a house. Okay? Boss. You feel me? I'm trying not to curse. But I'm on my boss stuff. Boss moves. I'm going to get a house. Or I'm going to get a nice apartment. I'm thinking I want a, an apartment. Like, because I want a gym. You feel me? I want a gym. I got some dumbbells right here. But, like, I want a gym. So, in a pool. I want a gym in a pool. So, I'm either going to get the luxury apartments or the house. Whatever. I'm going to get out of this house. Hopefully, I get out. No, I'm going to get out. I'm going to claim it right now. I'm going to get out of this house by... February. I'm getting out of this house by February. I'm out. I'm going. Yep. So, that being said, I feel like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I'm on a whole, I feel like a whole new person, bro. Semen retention was a part of that, but also everything else. Everything else just accumulated. And since I've been out here and isolated, Bro, through the roof, like everything is through the roof. The self-improvement skyrocketed, bro. I just had to get out of my hometown. I just had to get away from everybody I knew, good and bad. It's not like they did me dirty. I just had to get away from y'all. I had to stop talking about nonsense every day. Just talking about local drama from who, like who cares? Like, nah, I just had to get away from it. Every day I was talking to somebody. I had somewhere to go, somewhere to be, something to do. Nah, I come out here, I don't know nobody. The only thing I have to do is work. And I'm telling you, and I was only able to do that, right? Because I prepped my mindset already. I spent three years on self-improvement before. Like, if I came out here fresh out of jail, I don't know, Lord, I don't know where I would be. I don't know where I would be, bro. I'd be hit. I'd be in probably some trouble. You know, I had to get ready. I had to prepare myself. Like, I had to stay, you know, live with my mom, you know, do right by my mom, learn how to, like, 
not be toxic anymore, learn how to get along with my family and just be the best version of myself where I was at. And then once I like outgrew my environment, I was able to come out here and flourish. That's the best word I could describe it, flourish. Like, it's amazing. Everything skyrocketed since I've been out here. A hundred days through the roof. And so, yeah, I just got to keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Not be complacent now that I made a few, now that I, you know, got a few deals closing or whatever. Not be complacent. Keep it going. Keep it rolling. And just keep it going. Keep it rolling. That's it. Point blank period. So that's it. Day 46. Frick, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I just be talking about anything on these things now because it's like, I don't feel like I focus on semen retention. Like it's kind of there a little bit in the background, but it's not like a major like, oh, I'm, I'm retaining my semen. I'm. It's not like that. It was like that for a little bit, but now it's like, no, it's just, I'm a normal person now. <laughs> I'm, just a, I'm just a normal person who doesn't do shameful acts in private. That's about it. You know, I'm still a weirdo when off camera, but still, I'm not a creep. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's it, bro. Day 46. Let's get it. <laughs>